ago, in 2019, my freshman year. I lost my best friend to suicide. After it happened, I went numb for a while. I started to not express my emotions, and I started to cut myself off from close friends who were just trying to help me. My energy was so down physically. I felt pretty numb mentally. The desire to want to isolate myself and avoid school just grew. But it wasn't long before I couldn't realize that I didn't want to keep going back to school. But I felt the pressure to keep my grades up and do well. It wasn't long before I couldn't fake being happy like I was okay. I didn't want to feel so alone. I am struggling to cope in this very moment. I wanted to prove I could be successful in school even with everything going on, but I didn't know how. My mom started to notice my behaviors and how I wasn't okay. She told me she wanted me to go to therapy to talk to someone. I refused. I told her I was fine. I wanted her to think I was fine, but I wasn't. A couple weeks later, I took a step back and realized that I wasn't okay. So I decided to go to therapy. When I first went, I was a little skeptical. I was thinking to myself when I walked in, this isn't, isn't going to help me not feel sad about the fact that I lost my best friend two weeks ago. How are they supposed to help me when they have no idea whatsoever what I'm feeling inside? Maybe some of you have felt this way too, or you have shared those feelings about any situation in your life. But for a lot of other many people, talking about their mental health they think is normal, and being afraid to go to therapy and talking about their mental health isn't okay. I felt guilty as to why I wasn't able to stop her. Or if I was with her that night, I could have stopped her. I was not able to process the reality of the what ifs. Like, what if I had reached out to her? What if I had sent her a text that night? I felt a lot of what ifs with this guilt I was experiencing. I realized there are no what ifs. There's no do over button. There's no reset button. That's just how life goes. And yet, I still feel this guilt. And the reason? It's called survivor's guilt. Survivor's guilt is a response to an event in which someone else experienced a loss and you yourself didn't. Here are some symptoms or signs that you or someone you may know may be experiencing survivor's guilt. Being obsessive over analysis during the actions of this event. Having feelings about helplessness from the event. Lack of motivation and depression. These are just a few of the many variety of symptoms of people who may have survivor's guilt from not going to therapy and talking about their mental health may have which is why going to therapy can be so important for your mental health. Why? Shame, stigma, the fear you may have. On average, over two thirds who die from suicide do not receive mental health. In 2019, there were 750,000 suicides worldwide. Let that sink in for a second. That means about 500,000 people who died by suicide in 2019 did not receive professional mental health because fighting the stigma from seeing a therapist or seeking professional help is, again, considered showing signs of weakness because they may feel the shame from it. In 2021, there were an estimated 57.8 million adults in the United States with a mental illness. This number represents 23% of all U.S. adults. That's 23 out of 100 people or about a quarter of the people in this room. And help is available. You don't have to fight it alone. Psychotherapy. According to the American Psychiatric Association, research shows that psychotherapy and people who have received psychotherapy experience symptom relief and are better able to function in their everyday lives. About 75% of people who enter therapy show major benefit from it. Here I am four years later. I still have my moments where I'm sad, certain memories, certain moments, holidays, who we'll often bring her up. I realized that I'm always going to think about her. It's never going to stop. But I also realized that the fact that I went to therapy helped me move on with my life. I kept thinking to myself, it's not going to do me any good to be sad about it constantly. She wouldn't want me to be sad. She would want me to keep moving on with my life and telling her story. Which is why from time to time I still do go to therapy because I'm a lot better from this experience overall mentally. If you are struggling, there is help. Going to therapy for any kind of mental health reason whatsoever, or if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts, is going to be the best decision you've made, and it's gonna get better. I didn't think it would, but it did. I mean, going to see some lady two times a week, 
has no idea who I am, doesn't know my story or at all what I've been through. But she wasn't just some lady. She had helped me realize that going to therapy was the best thing that had ever happened to me in that year. I realized that going and talking about all the pain that I went through really helped me heal myself from what I went through. Knowing that I'm able to go and talk about this has really been an overall benefit for my mental health to this day. If you or anyone you know is struggling with their mental health, please reach out. There are many different helplines you can go to for struggling, such as 988 Suicide Crisis Helpline, National Institute of Health, okay to say. These are just a few of the many different resources for mental health support. Talk to a trusted adult. Talk to a family member, close friend, teacher you trust, professional, anyone in your life that you feel comfortable with that could give you guidance or provide resources to help you connect with about going to therapy. This is why going to therapy for any kind of mental health reason whatsoever is going to be the best thing that you do. It's going to make a big and positive influence on your health and on your life, even if you don't even think about it at first. Trust me, it changed my life. It could change a lot of yours. Thank you.